In this video, I'm going to talk about making a sticky menu in CSS. And uh, on websites these days, you find menus uh, going out from the side. You the, seem to pop up here, there and everywhere. And uh, I've been around the web for some time now, and even I don't know where I'm at with it. So anyway, we're going to my page here. And uh, this is a one page design and we've got this uh, menu I've been doing about gallery uh, frequently asked uh, questions and contacts. So what we're going to do, it is a sticky menu. So I've just clicked on contact there. And if we go up to frequently asked questions, you're still seeing the menu and gallery uh, portfolio as well. And about and you can still see the menu very visible there. And that's what we're going to make. And uh, I found uh, I couldn't find any uh, other video or really what I needed. So I thought, well, I might as well do it myself and uh, try and pass the information on if anybody finds it interesting. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to try and show you how to, to do this. Um, just in CSS, there's no JavaScript attached to this, so there's nothing to, to fear there. Um, so it's just your normal HTML elements and your normal CSS uh, as well. And it's not too difficult to do, it's, but it, it's just a bit tricky. It, it takes a little while to, to get going. Um, so I thought that, uh, well, I'll just go into my uh, HTML editor. The one I'm using now is Website Builder 4, but you can use whatever you want. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and make up a document of HTML5, I think. Um, and we'll do that. And so there's just your normal uh, doc type, HTML, header, header, title, body, and your closing brackets on them. So that's just what you normally see. Um, so what we're going to do there is we're going to just call this one page. Um, so just uh, entitle that. It doesn't really matter for demonstration purposes, but it just gives that more professional feel. And uh, what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to put some style in there as well, because we're going to need that uh, as a global style. Um, you can you can do most of this actually with uh, just do styling your divs actually inside them, but I'm, I'm going to do it this way. So there's one div, we need three. I'm going to have an about uh, services and a contact page, like you know, probably see on just uh, many, many sites across the web. So just your normal div elements there, div align equals center. And what I'm going to do in there is I'm going to put uh, about, uh, and the only trouble with this HTML editor it uh, it lags a little bit when you're typing. Apart from that, I absolutely love it. Um, and when I can actually spell, and uh, that should have been sent up but anyway. As I say, demonstration purposes, we'll put the about in and we'll put services in. And we'll also um, put a contact as, as well, a contact page. We're not going to, we can actually spell. Um, so, and contact, and what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put ID in, and we need these ID, um, equals, and I'm going to call that ID equals about, and there we go. And the next one, I'm going to call this ID equals serve, just S-E-E-R-V on that one. And the next one, just to save a little bit of time, it's up to you what you call these. Uh, and I'm going to put this as con. So just you C O N. And up in the, um, and this is just your page, your pages that you need. And I'm going to call this div. So in, because it's a div is an already an HTML editor, we don't need a hashtag. We do need a hashtag on other uh, principles that I'm going to do. So I'm going to call this div height and somewhere around 550 pixels, I'm going to call that. So that gives us plenty of scope uh, to show and demonstrate what I'm trying to do. Um, 
so you'll be able to see the fixed uh, fixed menu quite easily. So there we are, the hashtag and about. And I'm going to, uh, because the about is obviously just a variable that we've made up. Um, so we're going to call it background color. Uh, what should we call it? Background color. And we just put in uh, green for that. Uh, we're not going to play around with uh, the HTML proper way of uh, doing green and all that. It's This is obviously just a demonstration. You can do that uh, yourselves. Serve, and we see the hashtag serve, and that has to relate to the ID that we, we give it before. And we're going to call this background color, and color is always, uh, along with center, is always the American spelling, so it's it's not uh, it's not what we English would call the correct spelling, but uh, this is the way the web is. If you put it in color C O L O U R, that won't work. So the next one is uh, hashtag C O N con, as that corresponds to the ID equals con that we did, and we're going to put this uh, background color uh, red. So red with the semicolon. The semicolon always goes after the, um, the 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 property thing there. So anyway, what we see in there is the green and blue and contact. So we haven't done anything at all with our menu yet. But that's just the pages. So it's a one-page site that we're trying to do, and, and this is basically where these sticky menus. Uh, really come into their own is on one page sites one page don't work that well in my view in things where there's a lot of pages i think they're great for portfolios and this here i'm just putting in a start of menu and finish of menu you won't see this because it's it's got the stop sign and this is uh, your comments and it, it enables me to work uh within uh, boundaries so if i need to um to go to a a place on the HTML document uh, or the DOM document. It's very easy to find. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, excuse me. Um, but yes, uh, it's it's very easy to find. Usually, if there's uh, on a, on a page that I'm doing here, it's not it's not going to be uh, too long. But uh, if it's hundreds of lines of code, you need them comment pages. Anyway, I'm doing a UL. This uh, is just your normal HTML. And also inside there, I'm going to put lists. This is now our navigation. We build our navigation. We need three uh, lists. So we just go copy and paste. And uh, just do that another time. And the UL helps uh, to keep the lists in order. It's quite a traditional way, really, of doing uh, menus. Now, hashtag and about because we want, again, this to uh, correspond with your ID. So has hashtags and IDs correspond with each other. Your hashtag about, which is a URL, normally you would say index uh, HTML for that, but this is a one-page site, so we wanted to go inside of our, our um, document. And in between there, we're going to put about, just like you normally would, but uh, we, and then the next one is going to be uh, find the anchor as well. And I'm going to do um, hashtag SERV again, corresponding with the ID equals serve. And we just put serv services in there. And on our last one, we need another anchor tag or a hyperlink, and we just put in hashtag C-O-N, and I've put contact in there. Um, that's a spell mistake. So just put C-O-N in, because if I put that in, that wouldn't work. It has to be C-O-N, because it has to go and correspond with the ID. So now we can put contact in there, because that's what we're going to click, click on. So... Where are we at with this now? So we've made part of our menu. So just load it up and preview it. And there we have it. So we've got about services and contact on the left-hand side there, which is okay. 
But that isn't a vertical um, way down, and I want it horizontally because I prefer horizontal menus myself. Uh, not saying that uh, vertical don't have their place, but for this demonstration, I'm going to have this as a horizontal menu. And the way we do that is we go back between our style uh, sheet there, between uh, the style and the head, and we're going to go uh, UL. Um, and then we put these curly brackets in that uh, work in cascading style sheets. Um, I think maybe I'll just change that and put list for now. So LI. And uh, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to display. And I'm going to put that as in line. So display in line. And what that does, that makes it horizontal. So if we preview that in Chrome, um, when it loads, there you see about services and contact, and that puts the th uh, puts it horizontally. This is what we need. It's still got underlying, and though we don't want that, or I don't. I mean, you can if you want. It's not. Uh, well, a lot of these things are just preference, um, and. Some people like it, the traditional way of having it underlined. So we're going to put A, and this is for the for your hyperlinks and that. We're going to put text um, dash decoration, and we're going to put that as none. And the reason why there's no hashtags on the LI and the A, or LI stands for list and A for the hyperlinks, is because they're already HTML as, um, elements. So... There we have it. There's no underline in there now. So this is what we need because that text decoration of none takes that away. So now it's it's really starting to look um, what, where we need it. And it's, it's coming along now. Another thing I like to do is put these little symbols in uh, between uh, my menu. Uh, see on here about services, you don't want it on contact because there's, you're not, you've only got uh, three pages and two symbols as all as needed. So there we go. That gives it that touch of class. It's only a, it's only a little symbol, but it, it just um, gives them some para parameters uh, by themselves. And I like doing that. Um, sometimes it, it's horses for courses. You don't need them, but I like to do them. Um, so these would take you to the pages. But of course, it's not fixed, and we want a fixed menu, um, so we can see the menu all the time, because we're going to have to scroll all the way back to the top if we want our menu to be seen. So we don't want that. We want in modern design now. We want a fixed, um, a, a fixed thing. So we do what we do there is we put UL and we put position fixed. So it's position colon fixed. And so what's happening there? Semicolon, and then we'll take a look at it now and load it up. And what do we see? Well, it's very hard for maybe you to see this, but I can see that there we are. The about on the left hand side is a spell mistake of mine. It's irrelevant though. So we go about services and you can still see them on other pages. So our our um, menu is being fixed. You can actually see it's very difficult to see. I must be honest, from from your standpoint of view, from a viewer's uh, point of view there. So we're just going to put color, which is the text color, and we're going to go in and just put a hashtag and FFF, which is white. And we just go and have a preview of that. Oops, I've made a, I've, I know I've made a mistake. It's not going to show. So anyway, we'll see that there. And if we just check it about services, yeah, you can see that it, it is working. But I've made a mistake. That should be on, under the hyperlink A. So we'll go back to that. We'll just copy and paste that. The color, uh, which is the text color, and the uh FFF, so you just put cut and copy, and we put that in, just paste that there, and I think this will work. And just put it into Chrome again, and 
there we are about services contact and if we just uh perhaps we click on there and there's your i just zoom it in there for you all to see services and uh contact see you can see the menu at all all pages now about services contact and that is basically your menu your fixed menu so you would have uh, a uh, something that's a workable example uh, for your one page designs and uh, thank you for watching and thank you for listening